Hello everyone. Welcome to another session with me Isa Tajri Sagaiji. The topic for today is unit of storage and computer. Before we go deeply into the topic, let's look at the learning objectives. By the end of this lesson, students should be able to define memory storage in computer, list the barrier storage unit in computer, explain classes of computer memory with their hierarchy, and lastly, students should be able to answer some questions. Introduction. What is memory unit or storage unit? A memory unit is the amount of data is the amount of data that can be stored in the storage unit. This storage capacity is expressed in terms of bytes. We can also define a memory as an internal storage area in a computer which is used to store data and programs either permanently or temporarily. Some of these main storage air units, they are the bit, the neighbor, the byte, the kilobyte, the megabyte, the gigabyte, and the terabyte. These are some of the examples of main storage units we have, and we'll be looking at them one after the other. Now, let's look at the storage units and their storage capacity. Number one, we have the bit. The bit, they are the binary digits, that is zeros and one. We have the neighbor. The capacity, that is the storage capacity, is four bits. That is, it can consist of zero zero one one, or one one one, or zero 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 zero. We have the bit. I mean the byte. The byte consists of 8 bits of characters. We have the kilobyte. The kilobyte consists of 1024 bytes. We also have the megabyte, that is the MB, which consists of 1024 kilobytes of digit. We also have the gigabyte, that is the GB, which consists of 1000 and 24 megabytes we also have the terabyte that is the tb which holds 1024 gigabyte of characters or binary digits we also have the petabyte which cons which holds a memory capacity of 1024 terabytes so these are some of the storage units we have in a computer now let's look at the classification of computer computer memory is broadly divided into two we have the primary memory and we have the secondary memory the primary memory is the type of memory which is directly accessed by the cpu that is the central processing unit the CPU continuously read these instructions and store them in a primary memory, that is, the main memory for execution. Primary memories are divided into two. We have the random access memory, that is the RAM, and the read-only memory. In random access memory, data can be stored temporarily. They are also called a volatile memory because when power fails, the data from the RAM, that is the random access memory, will be erased. We also have the read only memory, that is the ROM. These are data which are programmed by the manufacturers. The data cannot be modified. That that's why they are called the read only. That is, this data, they are programmed by the manufacturer. The users cannot modify them. You can only read these data without modification. Let's look at the secondary memory. The secondary memory, they are called 
the external memory or the non-volatile memory they are slower than the main memory that is the primary memory they are used to, to store data and information permanently some of these examples of this memory are the magnetic disk, fluffy disk, hard disk and optical disk now let's look at the hierarchy of the computer storage as we can see we have the computer memory being divided into two the primary memory or the main memory and we have the secondary memory the primary memory is divided into two the RAM and the ROM while the secondary memory these are the part we have the hard disk drive SSD compact disk fluffy disk and magnetic tape also on the RAM we have the SRAM DRAM on the ROM we have the PROM we have the EE PROM these are examples of memory storage and their hierarchy before we end this lesson let's do a recap At, in this lesson students have learned what is unit storage in computer that is the storage capacity and also students have learned some of the storage unit and their capacity where we mention the bits the enable the kilobyte the megabyte the gigabyte the terabyte and the terabyte and we also look at the classes of computer storage where we list and explain the primary memory the secondary memory and also we have also seen some of the examples of this category of the memory these are an example for these are an assignment for student what is memory storage why is RAM regarded as a volatile memory? 3. What are the classes of computer storage? Number 4. What are the full meaning of the following? RAM, ROM, HDD, and SRAM. Thank you for listening. Hope to see you in my next lesson.